Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you are all doing well. Uh, today is Thursday and I have a combination haul for you. I have a small haul from Salvation Army and I have two separate days uh, from Goodwill. And I also have our Slang 101. <laughs> I just love doing these. <laughs> Okay, today's slang word is, hopefully I pronounce it correctly, A-yo or I-yo. A-yo? A-yo. I guess it's like, hey, how you doing? I don't know. Let's see what it means. An informal greeting. What's up? What's up? What it do? Howdy. What's jumping? An exclamation to call attention to or announce one's presence. Hey. <clears throat> Psst. Okay. Hey, yo, that fortress is fresh to death. Fresh to death. I guess it means it's like really great. <laughs> that would be my guess. But you know, what do I know? I certainly don't know the slang terms, nor do I want to. I just think they're hilarious. Whatever happened to English language? That's all. English language, you know, it's really simple. Don't need definitions. Well, no, we all have definitions for the English language. This you need a book, a dictionary, and a teenager. Okay, so let's get into this haul. I'm going to do, oh, and I also have Fuller's Flea Market in here as well. I think I'll do Salvation Army first. Um, my daughter was looking for some really nice uh, size acrylic bowls for the bridal shower uh, because we are having uh, fruit and um, some other items that we needed nice bowls for. I found this one for $5.99 at the Salvation Army and it is a false craft item. It's in great condition. It comes with the instructions and it even comes with the little um, serving utensils that hook onto the side of the bowl and then you can put your lid on. Wait, where's the other hole? There it is. Like that. I could not believe that I found it. I was like, oh my goodness. Perfect. So I snatched that up. I didn't really get a whole lot at the Salvation Army. They're, they're just, they're getting worse and worse with their um, merchandise or lack thereof. So I get, did get that bowl for the shower. And, whoops, I got, pardon me guys, I'm just having some issues right now. Ugh. I also got myself. A really nice dress to wear to Jessica's shower. Now, the color tags, I believe, were yellow, pink, and white. So, this dress was $11. So, I got it for how much? Now, this is just the inside, okay? Okay. 
I absolutely love this dress. It has this little uh, sash that goes around to the back and it snaps. Let me just fix it. Okay. There we go. This is the back. Whoops. I have a little, one of those short uh, crop white sweaters that I will wear on top. And I have a nice pair of black shoes. I'll be good to go. I mean, you can't go wrong for $5.50. Like, when are you going to find a dress? This is a Jessica Howard dress for $5.50. I am so happy with this purchase. And it's going to look so, it looks really nice on me. So I am very happy that I found this. Um, I also grabbed a pair of... Um, just like jogging pants, uh, these were two fifty. They were half price. Just black jogging pants. They're uh, they're like a yoga pant, I guess. Then I got this really cute, just a long sleeve gray shirt. I paid regular price four dollars. I don't believe green was on sale. Although I could be wrong, I can't remember. Um, then I got this, I think this was half price. I do have the receipt. Okay. Oh, so, oh yes. So green, green was half price. Yellow was half price. Blue was not. So this was half price. Uh, I paid $2 for it. Just a cute long sleeve black shirt. It has the little things you can do the sleeves up. Very cute. And then I got another pair because I needed some warm pants, you know. Um, these I paid regular price for, $2.99. They're just some plain gray um Jagging pants. And then I got this pair of LuLaRoe leggings just because I like the color combination. And I did pay regular price for them. I paid $4.99. But I just love the colors. So I got those. And uh, that was it from Salvation Army. I spent $22.00 at Salvation Army. And that was not bad at all because I got some great stuff. Okay. Um, let me do, let me do fullers and then I can move this stuff out of the way. Um, I got, let me move this. So, um, excuse me, Jessica's, the place we're having the shower um, they normally, they don't provide like, um, dishes and silverware and all that stuff. All of that is brought in. You're basically just renting the space, um, and food is brought in as well. So, um... The girl, though, that owns it, her name is Alex, she actually um, did purchase or was, she either purchased or was given a huge uh, lot of china plates. So we will have um, china plates for the shower. Um, and Jessica was just going to buy some plastic silverware. I said, no, let's just go out and thrift all the silverware, you find tons of it when you're out thrifting. I said, and who cares if it matches? It'll be eclectic because the china plates don't match either. 
So that's what we decided to do. So I don't have it here, but I have two bags of silverware in the other room that I got at Fuller's. Um, I got like, uh, I forgot how many knives and spoons and I'm really lacking in the forks, but we'll, we'll get them. I'm not worried about it. Um, so then I got these two adorable little plates. How cute are these? They're hand painted and they are made by Padden City Pottery. So this is the back. And then it has the little sticker on the back of this one. They are adorable. The only thing was is that um, this this little guy um, broke off. I don't know how, but it, it must have been broken and glued and I didn't know. Uh, so when I was cleaning it, it came off. So I just re-glued it um, back on. But these are just adorable. Look how cute. So I had to snatch those up. I saw someone haul one of these or show it in a live sale and I'm thinking it might have been trusty huckster but I'm not positive and I still do not know exactly what this is uh, but it does open I don't know if it's like uh, I don't know do you guys know what this is but I just had to get it because I knew I had seen it and it's just so cool. And I liked that it was silver and I loved the design on it. I don't know if it's some kind of a candle holder or what the heck it is. I don't know. So someone please let me know in the comments. So I got that. Then I found this amazing little um, e um, blah, 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 enamel teapot, which I'm keeping. I love it. Look at that. And it's in excellent condition. It even comes with this little like chain attachment to keep the lid on. The only issue that it has is right here, there's just a little, like a little scrape and there's a little chip there. I mean, really it's in great condition because this is a pretty old one and it does have some chipping there on the rim of the lid. Um, I have no idea who makes it, but I love it. And of course, I saw this and it was caked in grease. I had to clean it up, and which was a task because it's wood. Look how cool this is. I don't know if it's for napkins. You sure wouldn't fit very many napkins in there. Could be uh, for mail. But um, for me, it's just going to be a decor piece to go with the rest of my roosters. <laughs> um, I found this really cute little duck planter. <laughs> now it has this black on here, which it seems to be under the glaze. And this like, it's like a flaw in the manufacturing. It was almost like a piece of clay got stuck on there and they didn't see it and then they and then they fired it. So, but uh, I don't know where it was made, but it's just adorable. So I had to pick that up. Grab my iced tea over here. Okay. Um, then I got this for my daughter. For when she 
has kids. They're dividers for the to put in the closet on the, the bar. It goes from newborn, they're dividers, clothes divide, closet dividers, whatever, clothes dividers. Newborn, three to six months, six to 12 months, 12 to 18 months, and 18 to 24 months, and then toddler plus. How stinking cute are those? I showed them to Jessica. She's like, oh, those are so cute. I'm like, I know. <laughs> So, uh, so that was everything that I got at Fuller's, and of course, including all the silverware. And she like wanted to charge me like five bucks. And of course I said no, and I gave her more. And that's how we work, her and I, so. Uh, okay, now let's go to my two, um, Goodwill excursions. All right. I will do the larger one first. Uh, this one I spent $53. So let me show you what I got. I can't remember if I got, yeah, I got that that day. Okay. Um, so I did grab another uh, ice cube tray. This one has very uh, tiny cubes, like narrow. Um, and I have one like this, only the cubes are wider. Uh, so I thought I would give it a shot. So I grabbed that. Then I got this fish creamer, which I think is so cool. And it had salt and pepper shakers to match. No chips, no cracks on either on either one. So I grabbed those because I thought they were pretty, pretty cool. Uh, yellow tags were half off this week at uh, Goodwill. So I got these for half price. I paid $2.75 for the set. Salt and pepper shakers. These are a nice size. Nice size salt and pepper shakers. Pretty, really pretty, the blue and the white pattern on there. So I grabbed those. This I bought even though one of the flowers is missing a couple petals. Um, I may pull my clay out and try to repair it. I'm not sure. Or I may just leave it as is. But it was so pretty. I had to pick this up. Um, let me get this sticker off. It's just so pretty. Okay, it's not cooperating. Okay, well that's good enough. Now it's all stuck to my fingers. All right. Uh, so this is made in Japan. Look how pretty that is. So you could see this is the flower that's missing the petals. It's missing like two, three. It's missing three petals. So I don't know, we'll see. But uh, there is the sticker. And it's just, it was so pretty. I, I loved the, the colors on the flowers. So I grabbed it. I got another owl figurine. This one, this, this one is bisque. And I don't know where this was made. That's the mark on the bottom, but it's very, very pretty. It almost reminds me of like Home Co. But it's in excellent shape. There's no cracks and no chips. I found the coolest Tupperware item. And it even came with the directions. 
serve it all set. Check this out. It's in like new condition. It has this lid, which goes on here. The dip goes in here and your veggies or whatever go in here. Okay, I had it backwards. That's why I could not get the lid on. There. So your dip goes in here and you cover it. And I mean, this is an awesome set. And it, like I said, it's like almost brand new. It's just got a little scuff mark on there. But I was like, wow, this is awesome. So I definitely had to snatch that up. I haven't looked it up, so I don't really know um, what it goes for. But I thought it was awesome. So I grabbed it. It's a little, <laughs> it's a little confusing when you have never used it before. So, <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> you know, what can I say? I'm part Polish. <laughs> it does come out every now and again. <laughs> um, then I found this. I got this for my son. He uh, definitely would use this for work. And it is for cold, 12 hours cold. It keeps things cold for 12 hours and three hours for hot stuff. And it's just a really nice, oh, check this out. A bottle opener right there. That's pretty cool. Really, really nice. This thing is brand new. Look at that. Brand spanking new. So I'm sure he'll be thrilled with this. Oh, the only issue is, I just noticed this got cracked and the piece is missing, but it still latches, so. All right. Then I got this really, nope, those, that was from the separate trip. Hold on there. This I got, I am going to paint this myself. It is a ceramic piece that's already been fired. And I already have a set of these cats. Y'all, uh, I showed them in my, uh, when I did my bedroom makeover, they were on a shelf, the Siamese cats. Well, look at, we have another one I'm gonna add to my collection. I'm gonna paint it. It's awesome. So I had to get that for myself. And I actually painted the other ceramic piece, the three um, jack-o'-lanterns. Um, I'll have to show you. It's Hopefully it's dry now, um, but I'll bring it out and show you guys. So I did get this for myself to work on. I got this pretty little figurine. I know people really are into birds. What did I do with that other one? I'm missing something. Or did I already show it? I don't know. I'm losing it, guys. Um, look at this. How pretty is this? just gorgeous. Now, I did not see any chips or cracks or broken off wings. This was made in Taiwan. And if I could get the sticker all the way off, it is Kensington Fine Porcelain. So I picked that up. And, um... I got this beautiful bell. Look at this. I don't know. I've been finding some beautiful clear glass, you guys. This is just beautiful. It's so pretty. And then it's got the pretty um, 
flower detail on there. Beautiful piece. Um, I did get this set of wooden salt and pepper shakers. This one is a pepper grinder. These are really, really nice. And they actually charged me, you know, for the pair, not separately. So that was a plus. Taking the sticker off. And I got this gorgeous butter dish. Look at this butter dish. Isn't it beautiful? Looks like, oh, you know, almost like the Wexford pattern or whatever. They kill me. $3.49 with lid. No, really? Who would, who, well, I don't know. I mean, obviously, you know, if it's got a lid, you would, you know, assume that it, you know, comes with it. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but hmm. go figure. And I also got, I am going to do this, um, our baby's first album. And this was $3.49. Uh, it's brand new, and my thought is I am going to do an album for my grandchild also that they can uh, have when I'm done, you know. Or if she wants to, she can do it. I should have I should have waited and used the blow dryer to take this off, but. You know me, I have no patience. I just want everything done yesterday. But um, and it, this is the case that it comes in, but it's like this. And it has um, the baby's name, the meaning of the name, nicknames, other names we considered. Um, it has all different, uh, family history, um, when we found out we were expecting, what, what we did to celebrate, who we told first, beautifully done, uh, baby book. So, I love it. So, I picked that up. And the last thing from that trip, I or I don't know, did I get this with this? Oh, no, I got this also um, yesterday, this amazing vintage apron. <laughs> How cute is that? I love it. So I did get that yesterday. Um, I got this as well. This will be in one of my Christmas um, hauls. It is a, you plug it in. It's a night light, I guess. Um, hang on, let me take the sticker off. It is a rope Santa bobblehead. Rotating night light. The, well, it has a rotating plug and it's a night light. <laughs> so he was adorable. I grabbed that. Put that over there. I also grabbed this Fitz and Floyd Santa plate. This is beautiful. Let me show you. Still in the styrofoam. I hate styrofoam because it gets everywhere. And then it static y. 
But anyways, this is what he looks like. How cute is he? This is a snack tray. <laughs> but it's a decent size. It's about 12 inches long, maybe 14. So I snatched that up. I know you guys are like, oh, you're killing me. Why are you waiting to do your Christmas stuff? Because it's too, it's too dang early. Too early. All right, let me get all this styrofoam off of me. And the last thing I got yesterday was this bag of um, military bears. So we have, let me show you, we have, this is a little beanie baby, United States Army, still has the tag, honor bears, yep, that's what they're called, whoa. Um, originally, this was from 2002. It was originally $9.98. So I got, this one was in the bag. Then we have this guy. Um, this one is from 2000. It says Hero. Now, he doesn't have his tag. He just has the little tag um, under his butt there. And then there is this guy. He is so cool. He, he reminds me of Smokey Bear, sort of, other if he didn't have on the camouflage. Um, this is the U.S. Army Bear Forces of America. There's his hat. Still has this tag. Um, let me see. I have to fix, tie his shoes or his pants. Um, I don't see a year. Nope, there's no year on this guy, so I have no idea. But I thought, you know, this set would be really nice for someone that has family, you know, in the military or whatever. I just thought they were really, really nice, so I grabbed them. All right, let's put these little guys back in the bag. Oh, I'm going to have a bunch of um, earrings and stuff again for my sale on Saturday, everybody. So, um, I'm going to, they're going to be um, Halloween earrings, fall earrings. They're um, pumpkins. Oh, they're so pretty. I'm not showing you now, though. <laughs> I only have so many, though, so, and I'm not going to make any more. So, whoever gets them, get some. All right, so that was my haul yesterday for, what was it, $55? $53. Now, I did stop there on, excuse me, what day was it? Uh, Tuesday. And they finally had these with the yellow tag. So these, um, these were the apple salt and pepper shakers I was telling you, um, $7.39 for these, but I waited till they went half price and then I bought them. So I think I paid, um, $3.75 for the pair. So I got those and this day, I think I spent $28, um, I got this really, really cute set of snowman mugs. Uh, these are uh, Eddie Bauer, and they are adorable. So we have these two, and they have the same picture on the other side. And we have these two. 
I love these. And there is Eddie Bauer. So these will go in my uh, Christmas sale. I will sell the whole set of four. I had a pair of candle holders that match this next item that I'm going to show you. They were gorgeous. And actually, um, oh, our Lynn from our Lynn's Country Craft Corner contacted me about purchasing the candle holders from me, which she did. And now I have this beautiful tray. Look at this. This is just beautiful. Um, it was made in China, but it's just beautiful. And it is like, um, it's a cream colored background. But look at the, look how pretty the detailing is on there. Just beautiful. So I had to pick that up and I did pay regular price for it. I did, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. And then I ended up getting it. So, cause I probably would have kicked myself if I did not. Um, it is heavy. It reminds me of like stoneware. It probably weighs about two and a half, three pounds maybe, but it's just so pretty. And I believe I found another Raku a vase. This one is very, very cool. Look at the colors in this one. Look at that. Metallic. Oh, it's beautiful. And let me take the sticker off. I can get it off. There we go. Uh, it is signed Collis 94. And it looks like there was some kind of a... Oh, that was from the wheel. Um, it does have a little chip on the bottom. But you don't see that. Gorgeous gorgeous vase. That one also um, I paid regular price for. And the last item that I purchased, I love this picture. I just have to find some place to put it because I love it. I really wanted to put it in my room, but I don't think I have, I don't know but it's just beautiful. I paid regular price, $7.39, but it was well worth it. Look at this picture. Now I have seen this print before and I have always loved it. Um, it is gorgeous. I I am just in love with this. So I am absolutely keeping this and I will find some place to hang it. It's gorgeous. So there you go. I know I forgot to show you guys the bench um, in my la in the last video. <laughs> I always forget something. Always. Um, so I'm going to pause the video for a second. I am going to go grab the pumpkins that I painted. And I do have um, three boxes of friend mail that I really, really need to open and share with all of you. So I will be back in just a second. All right, I'm back and forgot to show you something as I usually do. This was also included in my little haul from Fuller's. Uh, as I said, I'm finding a lot of the False Craft Winterberry uh, patterned stuff. 
How cool is this Santa cup? He's got, there you go. No chips, no cracks, perfect condition. Can't believe I forgot to show you that. It was sitting right in front of my eyeballs. And I also grabbed this vintage uh, Christmas ornament. It is a shiny bright. You know how I am about my vintage ornaments. It does have a mark there. I don't know what the heck that is. Looks like it might be rust, but I don't care. So, all right. Let me show you my pumpkins. Now I don't have the light or anything in it yet, and it is still a little tacky, but I did an antiquing on it. So this is how it's still wet, how they turned out. And this is the back. And of course, that's where you put your light. So I think they came out really, really nice. I'm very pleased with them. So let me put it back over there. Now I have stuff all over my hands. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, maybe now I can get to the friend mail. All right. I did get some wonderful cards. I am not going to read them to everyone, um, but this is so pretty. This is from my friend Adele, Adele and Robert. <laughs> this is so cute. Um, this is from Nancy. She lives in uh, California. Looks like a homemade card to me. Absolutely beautiful. Such a beautiful job, Nancy. And I save all my cards. I have them um, in my card holder that my friend made. And now I, off the top of my head, I don't, I can't remember who made it. Um, yeah. Not even going to try and remember. Um, anyways, and then I got a beautiful letter uh, from my friend Jaquetta Horn. And it like, it made me teary-eyed. Uh, so Jaquetta, I just want you to know that I will keep this letter forever. And thank you so very much. Not many people actually write letters anymore. Um, this card, <laughs> it made me laugh. Um, this came from my friend Mary Dugan. And Mary, if you're watching, I do have your address here, but I need your PayPal email so I can send your invoice for your purchase from my last live sale. Um, she sent me this card and she sent this little change purse. <laughs> Can I just tell you how much I laughed when I opened this? I almost peed my pants. So Mary, you made my day. Thank you so much. And don't think that I will not use this change purse because I'm gonna. Yes, I am. Cat butt coin purse. <laughs> I love it. It's awesome. Oh, my word. All right. I have a package here from my friend, uh, Larry. 
I did um, open the box and get rid of all the packing peanuts and everything. Um, he sent me, he said, hi, do you recognize this box, buddy? He probably used one of the boxes that I sent him stuff. <laughs> Which, hey, recycle, reuse. And there is a card here. Oh, look how cute that is. Um, <laughs> oh, Larry, you're awesome. He sends me things because he's downsizing. And, um... He's got, he sent me some pictures of cats. <laughs> Look, it's a cat farm. I wished I had land because I would have, I would do this for all the stray animals because I hate, absolutely, I hate seeing stray animals. It breaks my heart. It really does. Oh, look at. <laughs> yep. Yeah, if I was a millionaire, I would I would own a property to house as many stray animals as I could. All right, Larry, what do we have in here? Oops, I almost had it. There we go. Oh my word. <gasps> Larry. Oh my gosh. This is perfect for Halloween. Look, you guys. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Oh, Larry, thank you. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much, Larry. Oh, I love Look. <laughs> that is awesome. Awesome. I That's just great. So these next two boxes are from my friend, um, David D-Dog. And I got to tighten this because why is this moving so much? It's, there we go. Hang on, guys. I got to tighten it. All right. Maybe it won't move so much. Hang on a minute, guys. All right. There we go. All right, so let me see what David has in store for me. He sends me such a variety of little goodies and tchotchkes. Oh, look at this card. <laughs> How cute is that? Hi, Miss D. Found some more goodies for you. Hope you are doing well. Love your friend, David. So let's see. And there's a box, a little box here as well. Oh my goodness. Okay. So let's start with the smaller box. So I, can I tell you how much I love stickers? I will be adding these to my thank you cards and my boxes or whatever. I love stickers. Oh, wow. Look at this. That is awesome. Star snap fasteners are 100% perfect. 
Look at the back. That is an awesome, awesome piece. I have a night light. I have a duck pencil sharpener. You stick the pencil up the duck's butt. <laughs> well, <laughs> hopefully you'll get acquainted first. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh my goodness. Uh, we have a candle in a little tin. <laughs> an old scrub brush, which I will definitely use for decor. I wish that I had an actual laundry room that I could decorate, but I do not. But this will get used. Don't worry. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness. And it's real light, it's styrofoam. How cool is that? Let me get this out here. Hang on guys. Oh, there's a couple of Christmas ornaments. Look at bows. There's two. Those are pretty. Another card. Put this over here. He always sends me vintage cards. I love them. Oh, look at this. Hi there. It's a gift for you. Look at that card. And with the best of wishes to love David. Look at that. Oh, that is amazing. I wish they still made cards like this. Awesome. Oh, wow. Hang on, guys. Let me open these up real quick. Oh, these are pretty. Uh, there it is. I was like, where's the end of the tape? All right. All right, we have this beautiful set. Whoops. Of, I have tape stuck on my finger. This beautiful set of candle holders. Those are pretty. Very, very pretty. We have this little trinket dish. <laughs> yeah, I've had these boxes sitting. Oh, look, it's a little... Um, tea bag holder. How cute is that with the little bee? It's a honey uh, a hive. That is adorable. Oh, I love that. So this is broken right here, but it's, it's a shell that they turned into a little trinket dish. They glued the little shells on the bottom so that it sits like that. How cute is that? This would look cute in a bathroom with those little soaps in it. What a cool idea that was. Love that. All right. I probably am going to have to get the scissors. What did I do with them? I know I brought them out here. Here they are. Just to cut this because I will be here all day trying to 
find the beginning of the tape. There we go. <gasps> oh, you know what? I had one something like this, David. Look at this gorgeous light switch cover. I have one almost identical um, that I had hanging in my room and then I moved it into my eBay room. That's gorgeous. That is beautiful. These sell for good money too on eBay. Just so you know. Absolutely. All right, that's one box. Now this one is full of all kinds of little tchotchkes. This is from Wisconsin, made in Hong Kong, and I believe it's a pepper shaker because it has one hole. Look at that. That is awesome. Then we have some vintage sparkles. Pink and what is this? This is like a blue. Oh, this is a cool blue color. I don't know if you guys can see, see that, but that is cool. Oh, here's the other one. Here's the other one. Yay. So now I have both. Very cool. Um, He sent me. Oh, this is cool. This will come in very handy. I don't even know if they make these anymore. Hide a key. These were, you used to use these to put your car key in until they make them like uh, so huge now. Um, but this also would be good for a house key as well. It has the magnet on the bottom and this just slides open. Yep. Very cool, very cool. <laughs> I have no idea. At first I thought it was a pie bird, but it's not because there's no hole in the bottom. <laughs> Let me just pull all of this out of here so I can put the box. Oh, here's more sparkles. These are really, oh my God, look at this. Those are very old. These are awesome. Oh my word. Look at this beautiful set of salt and pepper shakers with the windmills. These are uh, made in Japan. They have the cork bottoms. So I, David, I don't know if you send this stuff to me for me to keep or to resell. I really don't know. So I just need you to let me know. You know, if, if you know, you want me, this stuff is for me or I don't know. I just, I need you to let me know because these are amazing. And I know someone would love these who collects, you know, um, Japan or um, what do you call that? Um, <sighs> Asian. But anyways, Hang on, guys. Oh, there's a very cool vintage postcard in here. Senator Porter's residence in Pittsburgh, Kansas. That's pretty cool. I have these. I have a little um, metal board in my eBay room with magnets, and I hang all this kind of stuff on there. I love it. And then, what is this? It's a bag. Birdies. 
I don't know what birdies is. Um, oh, he sent me some, I can't believe. I love these little bars of soap. I put these in my little displays in my bathroom. Look at Lux, O-M-G. This is from like the 60s, Lux. And then we have Ivory. Oh my God, yeah, these are going in my little display in my bathroom. Very cool. Then I have this, you know what? This will be perfect uh, for my beads for because I make jewelry. Well, y'all know that. But this is a perfect bottle for that. I love these little change purses. Remember these guys? You used to pinch them and they open up. <laughs> it's got a little chain. Yeah, these are cool. Love these. <laughs> like a little kid. Oh, we have some very pretty uh, clear glass, a bowl, which I'll show you. I just wanted to open this other thing first. Where's my scissors? There we go. Oh, how cute are these? Oh, look at those. Salt and pepper shakers, little owls. Remove rubber plugs before placing in dishwasher. Those are awesome. We have this really pretty clear glass little dish. Very pretty. Look at, I'm thinking this might have been an Avon, maybe a little perfume decanter. There's no sticker on the bottom, but me thinks that might be what it is. So this is going in my bathroom with my other Avon goodies. Oh my goodness. Hold on, guys. <laughs> oh, these are cool. I'm just trying to unwrap stuff real quick. Oh, I love these. These are cute. They match the stuff I already have. All right, I got one more thing to open here, guys. There we go. All uh, I thought I had it all. <laughs> there we go. All right. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, I love this. Look at this, you guys. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. Then we have these little salt and pepper shakers with the red lids. I love these. What does it say on the bottom? Yeah, I'm not even going to attempt it. We have this little Scotty dog or a terrier made in Japan. There it's set. Where is it? Right here. Wrong side. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We have a little Easter decor, a handmade piece. I love the, the green gingham check. And then we have these really cool salt and peppers from Missouri. How cool are those? Wood. Those are the corks on the bottom. Those are very cool. 
And then we, these must have been in a picture frame at some point. They're just little, um, little pictures. I don't have any round frames. But these are good for crafting too. <laughs> so I think that is everything wow David thank you oh my goodness I love everything I have to say though my favorite is definitely this guy right here <laughs> isn't that a surprise <laughs> wow David, Larry, thank you so very much for the wonderful gifts. To my friends that sent me these wonderful cards, Mary, this is awesome. <laughs> thank you so much. You guys make my day. You have no idea. So before this video is like two hours long, I'm going to get tonight is the night of uh, the four-way sale. So it's me, Trusty Huckster Mercantile, uh, Kitchy, Kitchy Bitchy, and um, Kelly at Moss, I always get this wrong, Moss Story, Moss Stone Story. Moss Stone Story. I think that's, I always get them mixed up. I'm so sorry, Kelly. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, yeah, so that'll be at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. So guys, don't forget to check it out. And again, thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.